In this lesson, we will learn about the Moodle HTML editor. In this lesson, we will learn about the third row of the text editor. The first group in this row is known as the numbers, bullets, and indents group. The first icon is used to create the unordered list. Let's select some text and click Unordered List icon. Similarly, by using the Ordered List icon, we can make a numbered list. The next two buttons are used to indent or outend the text. The next highlighted group is known as Link Group. By using the icons in this group, you can insert, edit or remove the links to other websites in the text. The text which contains a link will turn blue in color with an underline effect. The first icon is used to insert links, whereas the second icon is used to remove the links in the selected text. Let's remove the link from the selected text. And insert a link to the selected text. Enter the link URL address. And click Insert. Notice that the selected text now contains an embedded link. The next highlighted group is known as Insert Group. You can insert images, videos, equations and tables etc. from this group. Let's insert an image in the message field. So click the Insert Image icon. In the pop-up window, click Find or Upload an Image. It will evoke the file picker. Click Browse. Select the image on your local computer which you want to upload. And click Open. Then click Upload this file. You'll see a preview of the image under Preview Area. Click Insert. Acknowledge the warning about no image description and click OK. Similarly, you can insert a media file using the Insert Media button. The next icon is used to insert non-breaking space character in the text. You can also insert custom characters by using the custom character button. It can also be used to insert special symbols like the copyright symbol or the registered symbol. The last icon in this group is used to insert tables. You can insert tables of given rows and columns. The last highlighted group is known as HTML Source Toggle and Spell Checker Group. If you know some HTML coding, then you can change the layout of the text using the HTML Source Editor. The last icon is used to check the spelling of the text. Thank you for watching.